Whether you are a newbie or already familiar with Elementor, today's guide will help you work up to 10 times faster with Elementor's new UI. First, we'll see how to activate these new features and then I'll show you these essential features in action. It's super simple and I'm sure this video will help you save both time and effort. First, let's activate this new UI by going to Elementor settings. Go to your WordPress dashboard and from there choose Elementor settings. Now, in the features tab, you need to go to the editor top bar, then from the drop down here, select active, then save changes. Once you do that, the new Elementor UI is going to be active in your page settings. You can also see that the old and the new UI are visibly different from each other. Now let's have a closer look at some of the changes included in the new UI. Elementor has made its new UI a lot easier to navigate. This can save your valuable time when you're looking to build your website. For example, you can now use the recent pages and templates menu right at the top here to go to the recent pages you've been working on. This makes things easier for you when you're working on several pages at the same time. I can also click here to navigate to another page. It may ask you to save changes, so you just do that and the page should load up like this. Let's do this one more time and there you go. It's become super easy to move between different pages and templates. You can also use the recent pages and templates menu to add a new page to your project. To do that, go back to your Elementor page builder and click on the recent pages and templates menu. At the bottom, you'll find the add new page option. Click on it to create a new page instantly. Another great feature included in the new UI is Finder. Just click on the magnifying glass icon here and it will open the Finder. You can use it to find anything in your Elementor website builder. For example, you can type theme builder here and then open it from here. You can also use the Finder to go to any other page on your WordPress site. Let's say I want to access my dashboard. All I need to do is simply type dash here and the dashboard will come up. I can then click here and go straight to my WordPress dashboard. Similarly, you can find anything else you want by using the Finder in this new Elementor UI. Now, we are going to take a look at how the new UI makes it easier to add widgets to your new Elementor page. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Now, we are going to take a look at how the new UI makes it easier to add widgets to your new Elementor page. Previously, you had to drag and drop a widget like this onto your container. Many developers used to find this problematic as the widget kept jumping around. It was also difficult to decide the best placement for the widget. And the new UI has resolved this problem. And now you can just select a container location and click on a widget and it will appear right where you want it. If you want to set a definite size for your widgets panel, click on the Elementor logo here, then go to user preferences. From here, you can change the panel width as you want. Another great change to improve your workflow is to set favorite widgets. By marking the widgets you use frequently as favorites, you can save a lot of time. Just right click on a widget and select add to favorites. The widget will be added to your favorites and you can access it at the top. Now we'll see how you can add more breakpoints that will help you to make your site responsive. By default, you only have three breakpoints showing here. To add more breakpoints, go to your Elementor settings, under features, look for additional custom breakpoints. Once you find it, activate it. Then go here to save changes, then and reload your site. Next. Go to site settings and click on layout. Scroll down to find breakpoints. Here, click on the plus button to add more custom breakpoints. You can add tablet landscape, laptop, widescreen, and mobile landscape from here. Save changes once you're done, then reload the page. All right, you can see you have four more breakpoints showing here at the top. This will help you to create a responsive site for multiple devices easily. The new update also changes the theme settings of your Elementor UI from auto detail to light or dark. Just click on the Elementor logo and then go to user preferences. From the UI theme section, you can select light or dark mode or leave it as auto detect to sync with the default OS settings. And that's it. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.